an early Bitcoin pioneer named Hal Finney uh, has passed away. Um, he died of complications with ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease. And I say, well, I say died, but um, he was only declared legally dead uh, once, you know, his pulse stopped. But once that happened, um, you know, they threw his body into cryopreservation and, and you know, took out all his regular blood and, and filled it with, a, with like a, with a, a cryo um, preservation replacement of blood. And they're trying to save his body for a future time when possibly ALS is cured and they can unfreeze him and possibly bring him back to life, which would be revolutionary but you know how this yeah. relates to bitcoin is he was one of the first people who started using bitcoin back in 2009 and actually started you know he started working with satoshi nakamoto back in 2008 right when the first uh bitcoin white paper came out and he was he received the first bitcoin transaction from satoshi uh and you know, he he helped Satoshi on the on the code. Um, he he also um, worked on PGP encryption back in the '90s. Um, he was a member of the Cypherpunks, um, and he did he did he did a lot a lot of stuff to promote, um, you know, like new new crazy forms of technology that 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 have a lot of potential. Um, and Bitcoin was just like one of those, you know, and he was a pioneer in this space. And uh, it, he, apparently he, he did a lot to help the to help the early days of this decentralized um, infrastructure. And yeah, he's he was he was a he was a large figure in the community. I didn't know that much about him until this week. And then I did some research on him. And uh, but yeah, he, he did. He did a lot. And it's it's crazy that now, like he, he raised like fifteen thousand dollars earlier this year for his medical um bills and he raised that money in bitcoin and um now basically his family is using that that um money to help preserve his body uh for a possible revival in the future so very very futuristic exciting stuff that that this guy has and is currently you know um currently pushing for and working towards you know he him he, he uses himself his own mind and his own body as as an experimental uh vessel for like brand new like cutting edge like mind-blowing technology and it's it's fascinating I, this this guy was a revolutionary basically in terms of technology he definitely did a lot for bitcoin uh like you said, he was the first recipient of a Bitcoin payment ever. He was part of the, you know, he was on the receiving end of the first transaction between him and uh, Satoshi. And he was he was one of the earliest core developers to, to jump on board with uh, Satoshi after, you know, he released it, after he open sourced it and released it, uh, Bitcoin to the public. So... Um, he was definitely a prominent member, even though he may have been kind of uh, in the background for some people. Like, I didn't know much about him either until after I found out that he died. But um, nonetheless, he still did a lot for um, Bitcoin. So in, in his honor, the Bitcoin Foundation has teamed up with Jason King of Sean's Outpost, Eric Voorhees, and Roger Ver to start... Um, an ALS research fund where people can actually donate bitcoins uh, to an address that's controlled by the Bitcoin Foundation. Um, they're going to be running this fundraiser from uh, today. They started this morning with the video the Bitcoin Foundation posted uh, this morning, and it's going to go until Thanksgiving. And then they'll, and then the foundation will start accepting nominations for um, research organizations that they can donate the bitcoins to. Uh, and then at that point, they'll take a vote on which organization to give the money to. And then um, on December second, which is like National Giving Day or something like that, they'll actually give the bitcoins to the winning organization. And um, to kick off the fundraiser and uh, advertise a little bit. Um, there was a video posted on the Bitcoin Foundation's YouTube channel where Gavin Andreessen did a ice bucket challenge. Um, it was a very short video, it was 30 seconds long. 
he basically says, uh, uh, thanks, Hal Finney, for being awesome and contributing to Bitcoin. And then he dumped the, the water on his head. And then he challenged... Who did he challenge? Uh, Andreas Antonopoulos. Yeah. Uh, Roger Ver and um, Jin Young Jin England Young. from Jin the Young Bitcoin England. Foundation. Yeah. Um, and so... And, you know, what? we should actually link to this video in the description because at the end of the video, there's a QR code that you can scan to donate Bitcoin. And um, they actually provide, you know, the actual address as well, which um, which Sean can put in the description, too. And this, uh, it's it hasn't even been going on for uh, 24 hours yet. And the fund has already received like over five bitcoins i think which is like over two thousand dollars and that's just in one day and you know keep in mind it's going to be going till thanksgiving so we could potentially have get a lot of bitcoin money uh that'll be donated to als research which is you know been in the mainstream lately with this ice bucket thing yeah the als ice bucket challenge went viral and raised many millions of dollars really um yep. for, for als and I, I i heard a story like last week that basically said that like only 27 percent of the funds donated to the als association actually go towards you know finding a cure and 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 actual research and i guess if that's true um that's only really because of like bureaucratic overhead and stuff like that that's inherent in you know practically any organization but hopefully uh if the bitcoin foundation can manage this campaign right um, hopefully a very, very high percentage of the Bitcoins donated can actually go towards finding a cure. And mm -hmm. maybe it can directly impact, um, you know, if, if we can actually find a cure for ALS through uh, this, these donations, you know, the Bitcoin community can help and have a high percentage of their donations actually go towards a cure. Hal Finney could, you know, could be revived <laughs> and be cured of ALS sometime in the future, which would be insane. A uh, huge development, huge, huge miracle, basically, for the human race to have someone uh, possibly revived from from cryo sleep, and uh, and then have their have their terminal disease cured from them by 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 a cure that was that was crowdfunded by by the community. So very exciting to see if that can actually happen. And good on the good on the Bitcoin Foundation for um, starting up this campaign. Um, I don't know if uh, if if I would dump an, a bucket of ice water on my head. Um, I would probably prefer just donating money directly. But uh, um, good that the Bitcoin community is is getting involved with this, and um, f you know, fascinating that uh, Hal Finney um, might be revived in the in the future. Yeah, as much as I dislike the Bitcoin. Bitcoin Foundation that you know this is a really great thing they're doing. Um, if if you're if you're going to donate your bitcoins to anything, this is going to be the thing to donate it to. I mean, like, don't give it to the island party so people can go <laughs> buy drinks with Bitcoin. Um, this could this could definitely you know make some progress in the ALS research. So, uh, Bitcoin Foundation, you still suck, but you did a good thing. You suck and, for different um, reasons. But you're not good, all bad. Good job. Good job for uh, starting a Bitcoin fund for ALS. Yeah, I'll definitely I'll put that link in the description, including the link to um, Gavin Andreessen's video where he dumps himself with ice water and then challenges the others. So, yeah, you guys can check that out and uh, possibly donate as well.